Shiba Inu, 31 days. Now, I'm not talking about 31 days away. What I want to do in this video, though, I want to talk about the last 31 days, the start to 2023. And I've got a ton of different numbers for you, a ton of different data points for you, just to showcase how strong of a month, how strong of a bounce back it was for Shiba Inu. And this is compared to all of the top cryptocurrencies across the board this month. Of course, we're turning the page now to February, the second month of the year, and we're going to start it off with a bang because the Federal Reserves meet tomorrow. Make sure you guys are subscribed right here to this channel because I'll be talking about that. I always talk about all the macroeconomic factors at play and uh, give you my best breakdown and my opinions and my insight there. Uh, but with SHIB in particular, a lot of things went SHIB's way here in January 2023. I want to dive into it right now. So we're going to start over here, guys. First and foremost, you'll probably notice this when you come to CoinMarketCap, Shiba Inu is always, almost always, at least within a 24-hour period, one of the top trending tokens. That doesn't go away, and that didn't go, go away last year either. But this is very important because there are new people coming into cryptocurrency every single day. Look what's trending right now. Shiba Inu, Aptos, and Bitcoin. You'll see Shiba Inu on this list a lot, and I love seeing that. How about from a price standpoint? This is what we've seen happen since January 1st, guys. Here is January 1st, right here where my cursor is. Look at the growth we have seen. We are up 47% to start the year, leveling off. I love to see this sideways action. This consolidation right now happening in the 11 zone, I think we're gearing up for a takeoff. I think we're gearing up to go test these 15 levels that we saw back in October, potentially even these 17 levels that we saw back in August, especially if we get bullish news tomorrow with the Federal Reserves. I think testing these two will come relatively easy just because I think the markets will love a 25 basis point move. In fact, that's really what's going to be expected right now. I think we're seeing a little bit of a sell-off. I think people are just kind of taking profits right now, shoring up their positions just in case because there are some unknowns still in terms of what happens tomorrow. Of course, love Shiba Inu, love crypto long-term no matter what, but short-term traders, they're going to take their profits along the way. They want to mitigate their risk. Now, what else is going on and what else went on rather in January? So the burn rate of Shiba Inu was plummeting. However, the burn rate is certainly going to be increasing with the rise of Shibarium. And we got word this month that Shibarium will be burning Shiba Inu on every transaction. That is a very positive note. Also on the positive side, the holder count of the asset SHIB continues to rise. Throughout January, SHIB's holder count recorded multiple highs. At present, the total addresses in the network closing in on 1.3 million. Active addresses constituted 14,645 entities. Despite this rise, more than half of the holders in the networks were under a loss. Into the block noted that 60% of holders were not making profits. Now, on the surface, you might look at this and say, wow, 60% of people are not in the money. But here's the thing. Look at some of the other top cryptos. Look at Cardano, for example. 75% of holders are not in the green. So SHIB has actually performed better than many of the other top altcoins out there. I love Cardano too, by the way. But this stat, you know, they're kind of showing it in a negative light. Only 35% of them in the green. Remember what happened in 2022. The fact that 35% of people are still in the green, that means they were buying the dip when we were back down there at 506, or excuse me, 507, 508, 509. And we've been talking about that all the way back since 2022. When we give back a zero at any point, we give back that zero, go down to 509, 508, 507. I like that personally, in my opinion, not financial advice, as an area to accumulate SHIB. That feeling has not changed. And here we are back above the 11 zone, pushing up toward the 12 mark right now, up about 3%. And we're actually having a nice green candle day, at least here to start. So all eyes on the Federal Reserves tomorrow, but it's been a great January, guys. Enjoy it. We've got a lot of great things coming, too, with Shibarium, the metaverse. I think it's a great time to be in this SHIB ecosystem, up 47% in the month of January. Let me know what you guys think about that. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Appreciate you guys so much. I'm so, so grateful for you, and I wouldn't be able to do this without you. I love what I do. We started this journey way back in 2021, 
and absolutely love doing this every single day. And uh, again, thank you all so much for your support, and we'll talk very soon. See ya. Shout out to Tradix, too, sponsor of the channel this month.